What's up guys, Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews. And today I've got my hands on the brand new Lenovo Legion Y740. Now this is a new gaming beast, comes with a 144Hz display along with a 9th gen Core i7 and an Nvidia RTX 2070. Now you have 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and a 256 gig NVMe SSD drive and you also get a separate one terabyte SATA hard drive and lots more. Now first of all big shout out to box.co.uk for sending this beast over for us to check out on the channel. So I've been testing this laptop for just over a month as my daily driver and today I bring you my pros and cons for the Lenovo Legion Y740. So let's begin with the pros and the first one has to be design and build quality. Now you've got an elegant design made from a complete metal chassis, metal lid, metal bezels finished in this dark grey or space grey colour. Now the laptop certainly looks and feels durable so interesting design, hinges are also very good quality, opening and closing all month long has not loosened it at all. So overall quite happy with the design quality and build. Adding to that, the laptop is 20.2 millimeters thick and weighs 2.2 kgs. So it's definitely not designed to be an ultra portable. Now you can't have a powerful gaming laptop without a superb looking screen. So the second pro is of course, the display. Now the Lenovo Y740 has a 15.6 inch full HD IPS display, giving you great colors and contrasts and with a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080 and you have a 144 hertz refresh rate. So this laptop offers great detail, crisp visuals, not only great for gaming, but movies and sports look amazing on that display. You also have 500 nits of maximum brightness, which means you can use this laptop anywhere you like. And if all that was not enough, this display also supports Nvidia G-Sync, Dolby Vision and HDR. So pro number three, we have RGB lights. So you do have pretty cool looking RGB backlights on the keyboard, which you can customize using IQ software. Now the Legion logo between the O on the lid of the laptop also has a configurable RGB light and the vents at the rear and the sides both have RGB lights in them. So you have lots of RGBs, but the beauty of this device is you can independently switch them on or off, or you can completely switch them all off and that could be an ideal situation if you're planning on using this laptop at work. So effectively, a powerful workhorse in the day and a gamer's delight in the evening. Now the next positive is going to be quite obvious, the specs. This is a very powerful gaming laptop and under the hood, you will find the 9th gen Intel Core i7-9750H hexa-core CPU clocked at 2.6 gigahertz base with up to 4.5 gigahertz turbo. So that's six cores and 12 threads. And you also have a dedicated Nvidia GeForce RTX 2070 with the Max-Q design. Furthermore, you get 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a 256 gig NVMe SSD drive, and you also get a secondary one terabyte SATA drive. So this gaming laptop is powerful enough to play any AAA game you want to play. Now I tested out Shadow of the Tomb Raider on ultra high settings. Everything was maxed out and achieved a very respectful 90 to 92 frames per second. And so basically giving you desktop caliber gaming on the go. Now the next pro is very important for a gaming laptop. We are talking about great heat management. And this laptop features the Legion Cold Front, which is a dual channel thermal system with four vents, a dedicated heat sink for the keyboard, 
and you've got dedicated cooling fans for both the GPU and the CPU separately. Now this Legion laptop actually runs slightly cooler than most other gaming laptops I have tested. Now don't get me wrong, it still gets hot and the fans do get quite loud when the system gets worked, but overall it does give you very good heat management. So here are the temps after playing for around two hours straight and you can see few of the cores reached around 90 degrees. That's probably when the fans kicked in at full force and you can see all the current temperatures are in their 60s. So definitely good heat management and I literally just minimized GTA 5 and opened up this temperature status so the game is still running in the background. So that brings us to our next pro which is plenty of connectivity. Now this laptop has nearly all the connections you could want. You can connect up to three external displays at the same time with HDMI version 2.0b. You also have mini display port version 1.4, USB-C, and you're also getting three USB 3 ports, two on the back, one on the right side, and there is also a USB type C port on the left side along with a headphone jack. Support so layout is good. I like that most of the connections are on the back, which means nicer looking cable management. I also like how each port on the back has its own LED light, so you can see exactly where the ports are, so you can connect up any of your cables without moving the laptop. So again, great design and usability and convenience in mind. Now the final positive that needs to be mentioned is the Dolby Atmos sound. Now this laptop has an incredible speaker setup. You have two speakers on the sides towards the front, two speakers on the back near the rear corners, and to my surprise, this speaker also has a custom engineered Dolby Atmos soundbar built in with integrated subwoofer supporting smart AMP technology and designed especially for gaming. Now initially, when I saw the speaker design being aimed slightly downwards and not knowing about the soundbar technology, as you really can't see it, I was just not expecting much from the sound, but boy, was I wrong. The speakers sound incredible. They are loud, powerful, and crystal clear. They produce a pretty impressive sound quality and games and movies will simply blow your mind. Now you will actually forget you're listening to integrated laptop speakers. It feels more like a set of external speakers. So this laptop does support Dolby Atmos sound when playing games and watching movies. Now the volume does get pretty loud. 50 to 60% volume was sufficient for me and you also have equalizer settings to tweak the sound to your taste. But the sound is actually surprisingly good. So those are my pros, let's begin the cons. So the first con is kind of annoying as it could have been avoided. We are talking about the keyboard design. Now the keyboard itself is brilliant. It's got a beautiful configurable RGBs. I love typing on it, good size keys and very comfortable. The issue is not the keyboard, it's rather the layout. You have a vertical row of keys on the far left, mainly for macros and it's really difficult to get used to it. Now I've been using this laptop as my daily driver for nearly a month and whilst typing I'm still accidentally hitting the macro keys. They just should never be on that side ever. Maybe if these keys were on the far right side it may not have been an issue. Now I just find myself missing the caps lock, left control, escape, tab etc and I end up pressing the macro keys instead. Now after prolonged use I might get used to it but then when I revert to typing on a standard keyboard it gets messy and weird. So basically the keyboard design will slow down your momentum when you're typing and possibly increase your error margin. So a completely bad idea by including a set of macro keys on this keyboard. Now the next con we have is the battery life. Yes, we have seen generally in the Legion range of gaming laptops, the battery life leaves much to be desired. Now, this beast is power hungry. The 144Hz display and 500 nits brightness has a big appetite for battery consumption. Now, this laptop will give you... Now, the laptop lasts around two hours when playing games and even when watching movies, you can get around two hours, so sometimes you cannot even finish the movie without plugging in the power. Now the laptop has a 57 watt hour battery which is just too small for this power hungry beast. Yes, 
This is a gaming laptop designed really for desk use, so it's not an ultra portable, so it's likely you will have this plugged in most of the time. Still, I would have liked to see a slightly better battery life than what this gives you, but at the end of the day, if you want a powerful gaming laptop with the best screen and sound technology available, and by that, I mean Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos Sound, 144Hz display, then I guess the compromise of battery life is always going to be there. Now the next con is not a huge deal, it's quite subjective. We're talking about the web camera position. Now for some reason Lenovo likes to place their webcam at the bottom centre of the screen and I've said this before, it's not a great location for a webcam. You get a unflattering up your nose view. Some people still like it so as I mentioned this is quite subjective but recently I've seen the Honor Magic Book 14 implement this in a slightly better way by having a pop-up camera in between the F6 and F7 key which you press every time you want to use the camera. Now. On a privacy aspect, that seems like a better way of doing things. So I would love to see Lenovo implement something like this in their next edition. Now the last con is missing features. This is no doubt Lenovo's flagship premium laptop, but unfortunately we have some cutbacks. There is no SD card slot and no fingerprint reader. Now I've actually recently seen much cheaper laptops with fingerprint readers and it's quite amazing how useful a fingerprint reader actually is. It saves a lot of time and convenience when you want to access your computer. So I thought it's still worth mentioning these points even though they are not major cons or deal breakers. So there you have it guys, that was my pros and cons for the Lenovo Legion Y740 15 inch model. Now if you're considering this laptop, I hope this video steers you in the right direction. Now I've personally really enjoyed using this laptop, it's a complete powerhouse. Handled everything I threw at it with a completely powerful response every single time with no sign of slowing down. Gaming and movies with Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos sound is an absolute treat on this laptop. So put this on your desk and game away for hours on end no problems at all. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description should you guys want to check this product out for yourselves. Let me know what you guys think of this laptop and also let me know what game you would play on it if you had this laptop in front of you right now. Furthermore, if you'd like me to run any more tests or if you have any further questions, feel free to fire them at me in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them as soon as I possibly can. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.